Hey guys, Brandon Productions here, and welcome to, uh, I believe this is the 12th uh, Java tutorial that I am producing. Uh, sorry for my lack of videos recently, I've actually been moving, and uh, I've actually recorded a few, I just haven't had the chance to upload them, so that's probably why this video is, uh, no, what am I saying, I don't even know. Anyway, um, so today we're going to be talking about applets. Now what applets are is uh, if you ever go to a website and uh, if you're using Internet Explorer or Google Chrome you get a little pop-up that says Java needs uh, your permission to run and then you press run and then a cool little flashy thing appears and uh, something happens. That is an applet powered by Java and uh, today we're actually going to be learning how to make our own applets. Now right now there are uh, we're just going to do a basic introduction to applets, but there are different things that you can do with applets, uh, such as graphics, so you can produce little games, or you can uh, just draw a picture on the on the uh, screen. Uh, what I actually did with applets is I created an automated running clock, which uh, is at uh, brandonsoft.com slash personal project slash clock slash clock dot html. But um, there will actually be a link to that in the description. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, create your own applet. So the first thing you're actually going to want to do when creating an applet is you're actually just going to want to um, create a new class just like any other class and then it'll auto automatically generate this public class applet intro. But uh, what you actually need it to do is you need to tell it that you're trying to run an applet. So all you need to do right here is type extends applet. And then it should give you a little error. You need to import something. So click here and then double click on import. And then you're all good. So, now, the way an applet works is it runs inside of its own little window, uh, per se. It does not run inside of something like uh, a, a regular Java application would run inside of a console here, but uh, this application doesn't run inside of a console, it runs inside of a little window. And everything in this window needs to be painted in order to do something. So, because of that, um, where I, we actually uh, use the paint method to do things. So, uh, just like in creating a console application, we create a main method, and that's what executes. This time we're creating a paint method. So it's just going to be public void paint, and then uh, we're going to do graphics g, and open and close curly brackets. Now, what this does is this is what actually runs when the, uh, when the web page is opened for the applet. Uh, and what we're telling it here is to use the Java graphics package, uh, and we're going to be calling it G. However, this is not imported, so we're going to import that. We're also going to import, um, first, a little background. When Java was originally created, they um, gave every developer this java.aut.graphics package. Now, later, uh, Java actually figured out that this package was not good enough. So they made the java.aut.graphics 2D package. And this is just the second version of the graphics 2D. So now when we start our paint method, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually tell our applet to use this new graphics version, graphics 2D. So what we're going to be doing is creating a new graphics 2D variable. Uh, so we type in the type, which is graphics 2D, and then the name, we're going to name it G2, and uh, equals and then we're just going to cast a, uh, we're going to use this graphics G that we already have set up here, and we're just going to cast it as a graphics 2D. So parentheses graphics 2D, and to cast things you just put their variable name right there, semicolon to end that. So we're just saying we're creating a new graphics 2D, naming it G2, and it's equal to the graphics 2D casted version of G. And now that we actually have the graphics set up in the paint method, we can actually start doing stuff with this uh, graphics here. Now, this is definitely not an extensive tutorial. It's just a basic introduction on how to get your applets working in web pages as well. So all that we're going to be doing is we are going to uh, draw a circle. So in order to draw a circle, we're going to type in ellipse2d, which is uh, the command for a uh, ellipse. But all we're going to do is give the ellipse the same width and the same height. Um, and then it will be a circle. So we're going to say ellipse 2 d dot double equals uh, hold on, first thing we need to do is actually import the ellipse 2 d which is in uh, java dot aut dot geom dot ellipse 2 d 
And now we can actually use the uh, ellipse 2D here. So ellipse 2D dot double, uh, and then we're going to call it E equals new ellipse 2D dot double, and then we need to give it its specification. So the starting point, which the starting point is um, the top left hand corner of the bounding rectangle of the circle. So we're just going to say 0, 0 to make it start at the top left. And uh, it's width and height, we're going to make it 300, 300. So the way this works is we're telling Java to create a new ellipse 2D using double variables, which right here, uh, we're calling it E, and then it's in a new ellipse 2D dot double. And then we're telling it to start at 0, 0, which is the top left of the screen. Uh, as it goes right, the x values increase. As it goes down, the y values increase. And then we're giving it a width of 300 and a height of 300. And then all we need to do is draw E on the screen. So we're doing G2, which is our graphics, dot draw. And then it asks for the shape, which in this case is E. And then we are putting down a semicolon to end everything. And um, this should be good to generate a circle. Now we've got a little warning here. And uh, it's because we don't have a serial version ID. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to just ignore that version. So now what you need to do to get this applet to actually run is uh, click on this little arrow next to the run and then press run as and then Java applet. And uh, as you can see it opens up a new little window and it draws our circle uh, starting at 0, 0. The bounding rectangle is starting at 0, 0 and then it has a width and height, a radius of 150, diameter of 300. Um, so now we've got our basic applet set up and the next thing you're going to be able to, or you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to set up a web page in order to display this applet uh, on a website. So right now I'm just going to show you the HTML behind this really quickly and I am running out of time actually but um, so what you're going to want to do is go to your Eclipse workspace uh, where your file is actually saved and then go to the bin section and then where you have your right here uh, what did we call it applet intro wherever you have your doc class file this is where you need to right click and make a new text document and this text document I'm just gonna call applet intro and then it needs to have a dot HTML extension now what we're gonna be doing here is just generating a quick web page that will actually store the applet and uh, run it inside of it now if you don't know HTML I'm not really gonna be discussing it at length there is a tutorial about HTML on my channel so we're just gonna run through and uh, create it so we need the HTML tag, the head tag, a title, why not? Uh, we also need to end the head tag, start a body tag, and this is the important part right here. Um, this is where we're actually going to be storing or opening up our applet. So what we need to do is type in applet code equals and then we need to do a quotation mark and then the name of the code file, which right here is applet intro dot class. And then we need to press space and type in a width equal to our width is going to be our circle is 300 by 300, so our width should be good at 300. And our height should also be good at 300. And then we just need to end these brackets right here. And, uh, I think that should do it. Maybe if you type a slash here. No, that's not right. A slash at the end, possibly? Yes, I think that's the way you do it. So you're going to want to open up a new applet tag, tell it that the code is the class file, give it a new width and a new height, and then close off the brackets. And then if we actually open up the HTML file, uh, we get a nice circle drawn here. Uh, I don't know why there's those little... Uh, missing parts of the circle but our Java file is actually executed inside of a web page because we actually opened up the applet inside of a web page so now you have knowledge of how to make a basic applet um, more advanced shapes will be coming in the next tutorial so you can learn how to draw uh, stuff like lines houses triangles etc and uh, there we go so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed please remember to rate comment subscribe and I will talk to you guys in future videos peace